Hello Darknet Agents! Today we're going to go through and walk you through how to take off and prepare your entire 3D printed case for your Meshtastic device. If you're using the Prusa printer, you can go through and bend the print bed and take off each individual piece. After that, you can go through and also take off the brim here and then the sploosh piece to make sure that you've got the right color. Off screen, I'm spraying this down with Windex and wiping it down with the microfiber cloth to make sure that I don't have any of my human oils still left on the print bed. This is going to be the main body of the case and we've gone through and printed it where the most complicated side is facing up. We do have some, some cleaning though and we wanna make sure that these shelves that you see here are kept in place to actually hold the T. Laura device. This is going to be your bar to turn on and off your board. This is your forward facing screen where you need to clean this area off and the screen area off. And then the backside is pretty straightforward because it's all one piece. We don't have to do any cleaning here. This took me about two minutes to do the face piece and having a pair of clippers and or a putty knife to be able to get into those corners and then be able to lift up definitely will help with this process. Take your time and if you have improvements or changes that you want to go through and do to this design, you absolutely can do so. Then I would just make sure you go put that online for other folks to be able to check out. Now, once we get to the body, the first thing I like to start off with is the antenna hole by punching that through. And then I like to take my clippers in here and take the large excess amount of the pieces off, get the putty knife in there on the sides. And as long as you're able to get a foothold, you're able to pop that over fairly easily. So a lot of this is off screen because prying on the pieces of plastic and such. But once we come back in here, just come back with your clippers. This took me about 10 minutes to go through and clean off. The flatter and cleaner this is, the better fit and form your front and back facing plates are going to be on your board. Now, when it comes to actually unloading your T Laura Go device, this is what it looks like from the start. If you're either getting it from us or if you are getting it from online, you can go through and set yourself up. This is the T Laura T2 version 1.6.1 so that's going to be important later on when it comes to flashing this also has the antenna two uh, strips of gpio pin mounts and also a battery cable so we're going to grab our case we're going to take everything off and apart and the first thing is that we're going to slide this into where the antenna is going to go into the hole first and when we do that, it's actually able to sit on the little shelves that we've gone through and created perfectly. As we just, again, line this up from a different view, we're gonna put the antenna into the hole first and set it onto those shelves. It'll sit down there just perfectly there. Plenty of space for the USB. Next thing is we're gonna take the power bar, I'm gonna call it, that you're gonna slide inside to where the switch is gonna perfectly line up. So as you push to the left or to the right, it's going to toggle the board on and off. Next thing that we wanna go through and do is take your antenna and screw that in. It's important to make sure that the antenna is attached before you power on your LoRa device because according to the documentation, you can actually ruin your device if you don't have it plugged in to start with. So back piece is fairly straightforward, nothing special there. This can be a little bit loose depending on your printer quality. We purposely went through and printed it a little bit loose so folks have some adjustments they can go through and do, but that's roughly what it'll look like. If you want to turn it on or off, that's going to be the way to go through and do so. But let's go ahead and take off the back and then install the battery. Now, there are JST connectors and there are different sizes of batteries as well. But the important fact is that this JST connector is the smaller of the two. So I unfortunately ordered some batteries with different JST connectors. Just know that it's the smaller size for you to plug in. You could also just run this off of USB if you didn't want to have a dedicated battery, but we designed this for the battery to fit in with a 3000 milliamp hour battery. You can also do a smaller with a 2000 or 1000. If you got the device that does not have Meshtastic flashed on it by default, this is gonna be the range test that gets uh, added in runs by default. So 
once you've switched it on, which is pushing the bar, the power bar going to the far right, then you're ready to plug in your USB. And in the next video, we'll teach you how to get your Linux machine up and running to use Meshtastic to flash your T Laura to where you can go through and have the latest version that we'll be using at the conference. Thanks, like, subscribe, and we'll see you soon.